Hi everyone, my name is Jacob and this is your weekly entertainment update. Let's go. The American Music Awards happened this Sunday, or as I like to call them, people I've never heard of getting awards for stuff I don't know. Here are the highlights. Welcome to the 2014 American Music Awards. The night was hosted by obnoxious song ruiner Pitbull. Five Seconds of Summer proved their confidence in their material by performing a 35 year old song by the Romantics. Lord in her first televised American performance danced like your mom at the annual Christmas party. Five Seconds of Summer took home the big New Artist of the Year award while One Direction took home Old Artist of the Year. Also in related news, Five Seconds of Summer and One Direction are not the same band. I just learned that now. Garth Brooks performed live via satellite from Greensboro, North Carolina, probably because everyone back in LA was on their phones looking up who Garth Brooks is. Taylor Swift was given a special tribute award at the age of 24, but you know, I'm 22 and last week I found an extra pop tart the package, so, you know, we're, we're pretty even. Other winners included Luke Bryan, Sam Smith, and Bradley Gilbert. I can't wait for next year when I'm gonna be even more out of the loop and the winners are gonna be even younger than me. Damn international pop sensations. Get off my lawn. In the world of gaming, a bunch of stuff happened, so I'm gonna go fast. Dragon Age Inquisition and GTA V's first person mode were both released to critical acclaim, as was Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U, Wii U version. A trailer for the Telltale Games Game of Thrones was released, and if you're like me, you probably blinked and missed the release of their Tales from the Borderlands series. <laughs> you're... you're really cool. <laughs> I just, I wanted you to know that. They both look pretty promising for Telltale fans. It seems like both use very similar storytelling mechanics as their Walking Dead and the Wolf Among Us series. And Far Cry 4 was released this weekend, which you could consider Ubisoft's apology for the broken mess that is Assassin's Creed Unity. Unity is still broken, by the way. Ubisoft says they're going to release patches, but I don't know, they're what they say is kind of dodgy all the time. A teaser for the trailer of the upcoming Jurassic World was released this weekend. The highly anticipated fourth installment of the Jurassic Park franchise has got some big shoes to fill. I mean, we all know how beloved Jurassic Park 3 was, right? No, sorry, I lied, it was the opposite of that. The teaser trailer shows a staggering five seconds of the whole movie, and here they are. Riveting. So the teaser doesn't show much. I mean, there are dinosaurs and stuff, but I mainly just noticed Chris Pratt. <sighs> the full trailer was supposed to drop this Friday, but those lovable scamps at Universal got too excited and released it early anyway. What a time to be alive, guys. I just love getting ads for longer ads. The movie's slated to come out sometime next year, and I think I speak for all of us who love the original when I say I hope it doesn't end up as... One big pile of shit. Speaking of movie trailers, J.J. Abrams confirmed this Monday through Twitter that an 88-second trailer for Star Wars The Force Awakens will be playing in select theaters this weekend. This is probably an incentive to, you know, get people to go to the movies. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Ottawa's anywhere on the list of theaters to show it, so we're out of luck. But expect shaky cam versions of it to show up on YouTube this weekend. Maybe you'll get a glimpse of Mark Hamill's beard or something. Alright, I've run out of time, but this has been your weekly entertainment update. I'm gonna go... Uh, watch Star Wars for the first time. But for you creative types out there, Safira is going to show us some awesome art stuff.